Thank you. On behalf of Mr. Burroughs, Mr. Burroughs, please state your name for the record. Ms. Sharon Burroughs, can I speak, Your Honor? Why don't we let the prosecutor put her appearance on? I read it. What do you want to speak? To? All right. Your neglect. Pardon? Neglect. Um, you told this man to. Um, oh, which man? This, this gentleman right here. About my dog last, what, on the 29th? Did not did, to, to send him a note at the Humane Society. He'd never done it. Sorry, Judge, if I might. Uh, we were here about two weeks ago, at which time the court said that you will be willing to sign an order for his dog not to be euthanized at the Humane Society. Correct. Right. Send a stip in order to Ms. Hughes on that matter. Uh, she asked that I just do a, a order without a stip. I've emailed that to your court officer, and I have a copy here in my hand uh, for your signature, Your Honor. A week after the fact, I called him maybe like five, six days later to, you know, to see what's going on with that. Okay. So, sir? Yes. Frankly, Mr. That has, the dog has nothing to do with your case. Okay. Mr. Feaster is not your caretaker. I understand. Mr. Feaster didn't have to do anything. I asked if he would do that because that was a concern of yours. Okay. He did it, but he can't do it alone. He needed his prosecutor to sign off on it and then to get it over to me. So for you to sit here before this court and say in any way Mr. Feaster has been derelict in anything that he's done, that has never been the way that he has behaved before this court. He did not do so at this point. And quite frankly, you owe your attorney an apology. I apologize. Thank you. No Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Now, may we get down to the business of the case? Thank you, Judge. Uh, in trying to move these matters forward for Mr. Burroughs, we could set these matters for preliminary, preliminary examination, please, Judge. This is the order that he was that he was derelict in getting to us. Discovery is complete. That's my understanding, Judge. Yes. Do people have their witnesses available on the 26th? Preliminary examination in this matter will be set in person. March 26, 2024, 9 a.m. before judge, before me, okay, before me. Bond will continue. I have signed the order. That he you want to you want a copy that you can get over to the Humane Society, Mr. Feaster, in, as your dereliction in your duties. Thank you so much. To everything. Thank you so much. You sure. <laughs> I will get it over. You there. will sure to get it over there. Yes, Judge. Okay. Thank you. Make sure to get a return receipt so we can show it to him, so we don't have to hear this garbage again. He's asking me to address his bond, Judge. Seriously. Yes, Judge. Okay, go for it. <laughs> Sorry. All three files are scheduled for exam, right? Yes, please. they are all three set on that day. You can. Thank you very much, Judge, again for signing the order. And just to my client, uh, we set the matter for exam to try to get this matter resolved as swiftly as possible for Mr. Burroughs. Um, but he still would like me to address his bond. He's asking that you consider releasing him. I made the same argument when we were here last time. Uh, and all the same things I said at that time are still true today. And so based on that, Your Honor, he might consider a personal bond to, so he can go home take care of his other dogs, uh, make sure that they're going to be healthy and have all the treatments they need. But nothing's oh, changed. Not only the dogs, not other things I got to take care of. Okay. Nothing's changed since the last time you made the argument and I denied it. Nothing at all. I don't need a response. Motion for bond reduction denied. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Judge.